Hey guys, my name is Isabella and welcome to my ASMR channel. So before we get into today's video, I just wanted to mention a couple of things. First, I have a Patreon where for $3 a month you can get four extra ASMR videos each and every month. I also have an OnlyFans where right now you can get 40% off of your first month and the link to that is in the description box down below using my Linktree link. You can find my OnlyFans along with my Wizio page where I make all of my custom ASMR content along with the link to my Instagram if you would like to follow me over there. Last but not least, I would love it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. But now let's get into today's roleplay. Hello? splash you with water. Sorry about that. You weren't coming to, so I was getting a little nervous. Looks like we're all good now. Look at you. Oh my gosh. You have no idea how excited I am right now. Welcome. Um, well, this is my parents' basement, but, um, they let me use it. Well, when I was younger, it was my playroom. You know, I had all my toys down here, and as I've gotten older, we still call it my playroom, but, um, you know, now I say I use it for different science projects and uh, research I'm conducting. I'm trying to get into an Ivy League, so school is very important to me. But I still have time for extracurriculars. Not sports, though. Sports aren't my thing. I'm not really a club person either. I prefer more solo activities, like, uh, I wa um I like watching things animals people my favorite thing to watch is drum roll please you may have guessed it uh based on where we are and the fact that you probably have no idea what's going on right now you're my favorite thing to watch I love watching you so much, and I've been planning for this moment where I would get to watch you up close, uninterrupted, special one-on-one -on -one time. Yep, it's true. So here we are. I'm Isabella, by the way. We have three classes together, Spanish, Chemistry, Algebra. Did you know that? I figured you wouldn't know that because you have never once looked at me. Meanwhile, I spend all of class, I mean, I have a very high IQ, I spend all of class watching you, studying you, copying the notes off the board, listening to the teacher, hard being a good student and a good spy. But I have a feeling after today, well after today I have a feeling that I won't have to worry so much about you not noticing me. I think you'll notice me more than any other classmate of ours going forward. Yes, you will. Are you thirsty? It's only a little water. Um, it's my water I had down here yesterday, but I mean, I want us to be very close, so 
My water is your water. Drink. sharing level. Shh. My parents aren't home and I soundproofed this basement years ago, so don't make a sound because it's pointless. I'm just concerned that the zip ties aren't going to hold they're kind of old, so I figured this is better, much more secure. Wrists. And thankfully, the chair you're sitting in, well, let's just say it's screwed to the ground, so don't try to wobble it over and find a way out of here. I've been planning this for a really long time. Trust me. Plus, the basement door. My parents just have such trust in me. They really never come down here. It has a special pin. It automatically locks on both sides. The only way you can open the door on either side is if you know the pin. And guess what? You are so smart. Um, yes, I'm the only one with the pin. So anyway, you're probably wondering, why me? And if you're not, you should be. Because I think you are the most special, special, special guy I have ever come across. Really, I mean, there is nothing about you that I don't love from your hair that I've always just wanted to run my fingers through. Mm, my goodness. To your eyes, you just have the most striking eyes, really. They are just so, so extraordinary. <sighs> to your nose, I mean, plastic surgeons only attempt to recreate a nose this perfect from your lips that are just oh I would just if I could um they'll just everything about you is just extraordinary it's like growing up I used to have this sketchbook and I would draw I would sketch every day do I have it with me somewhere mm must be upstairs in my bedroom. <sighs> That's unfortunate. I really wanted to show you it because I used to just sketch the same boyfriend over and over again. It was my dream boyfriend who I saw myself spending the rest of my life with. And then when you transferred to our school at the beginning of this year, I audibly gasped because you are him. 
it's unreal. You are him. I, I wish I could show you because it, it almost is unbelievable. Everything, everything about you is the guy I have been sketching. And I believe in fate. I am a firm believer in fate. Fate brought you to me. You transferred here to meet me. Nope. Not because your parents relocated for your dad's work. No, no, no. Your dad had to relocate for work because fate wanted you to meet me. Oh my gosh. It's just amazing after so much time admiring you from afar, being able to touch you up close. It almost doesn't feel real. But I'm enjoying every moment of it. You really are so extraordinary. Shh. I know this is an unconventional way to get to know someone, but if you had taken the time to notice me in the three classes, Maybe I wouldn't have to resort to such extreme measures, but I don't regret anything I've done to bring us to this moment, this moment right here, and now I believe we are both exactly where we need to be. I'm just so happy that we're breathing the same air. I can't even tell you how many nights I have laid awake at night dreaming, dreaming about breathing the same air as you. And now that it's happening, I, it's just surreal, truly surreal. I was just trying to, I don't know, relax you, calm you. I'm sure you're overwhelmed at the moment, so I was just trying to be good to you and treat you right and calm you down. feel more comfortable if I took my gloves off? Oh, there. Now there's no barrier. Just touching your face is even more enjoyable. Hmm. You are 
are so handsome. So incredibly handsome. Look at you. Are you hungry? Maybe we could have a snack. My go to. I do like. A little cheese and cracker assortment, olives, carrots, dried fruit, a little charcuterie board. That could be fun, right? I mean, you can't really use your hands right now, but I'd be more than happy to feed you. Mm-hmm. Would you like that? Would you enjoy that? I bet you would. I bet you really enjoy that. Even if you don't know it yet. I'll go make us a plate. You just uh, stay here and... Well... Adjust. Oh. Well, you see, I texted your parents from your phone, told them you were sleeping over Colin's house, right? That's your best friend. Did my research before doing all this, um, and told them. Colin's parents are away this week. His parents didn't want him staying home alone. Um, thankfully, your parents trust you not to go over to Colin's to throw a rager or get into trouble. I told them you might be there for a week. And they said, okay, keep them posted. So, I can't let you go anytime soon. Because after Collins, maybe then you'll stay at your friend Phil's house. And after Phil's house, maybe you'll stay at your friend Ryan's house. And after Ryan's house, maybe you'll just be hopping around for months. And I called our school. And I told them that your parents decided to homeschool you for a while. And I called as your new homeschool tutor. So, it's going to be a little tricky in the beginning to keep all the lies straight, but I'm going to keep you here until I believe I have you. Because right now I know that you're resisting the fact that us meeting is fate, so I'm going to have to keep you here until I Feel confident that you understand what's between us is as real as it gets. Okay, but one step at a time. Let's start with our charcuterie board. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Not that you can. Mm-hmm. Thank you all for watching. I'd like to take a moment to give a special shout.